Yellowstone supervolcano. Why this shock discovery hints that the super eruption could be much sooner than believed. Yellowstone volcano scientists fear there could be much less time to prepare for a next super eruption than previously thought. That's what it comes down to. Are we ready for if this, this thing, if it takes place, a super eruption? Now, Yellowstone, well, you know, it comes to mind what the uh, Hopi did. They had underground dwellings. Not only them, but they have been found in various other locations in South America, in Turkey, in uh, uh, Cappadocia, for example, housing tens of thousands of people underground. Uh, is there anything else you can do? Well, you can't go off world. Now, Yellowstone caldera spreads beneath the states of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. It's in northwest Wyoming. And it gets its nickname as a supervolcano because it can inflict devastation on a worldwide scale. It's constantly monitored by the U.S. Geological Survey for signs that uh, a super eruption may be on its way. Something that has only happened three times in recent history in the location where it is now. 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 640,000 years ago. And some of the, uh, we noticed that uh, in the past videos, some of the West Coast volcanoes, I think it was Lassen Peak, I can't remember, um, they went off at the same, just about the same time that Yellowstone went off. The 1.3 million years ago and the 640,000 years ago, super eruptions. So Yellowstone now, they uh, leaving some to claim that a massive eruption could be overdue. Geologists thought until recently that it would take centuries for a supervolcano to undergo change before it erupted. In other words, we would know centuries beforehand if there was a super eruption coming. But after analyzing certain minerals in the fossilized ash from most recent eruptions, researchers at Arizona State University found this supervolcano last awoke after two influxes of fresh magma flowed into the reservoir below the caldera. As we know, the caldera, the, the magma chamber is uh, found underneath the, the, uh, the magma reservoir is found underneath the magma chamber and it feeds the chamber. So that magma reservoir is uh, believed to be four and a half times bigger than what they thought. They say it could be reaching all the way down to Mexico, which is really strange because that's where we're getting that mantle plume from that supplies Yellowstone. That mantle plume is like a Y. The western part goes into California, the high threat volcanoes. The eastern part goes diagonally um, northeast. It passes through Utah, where we've been having recent earthquakes. It started with the 5.7 that came out of nowhere, and they're still having earthquakes there at Salt Lake City, Utah. And by the way, Utah has eight volcanoes. The last one erupted with a lava eruption 600 and 60 years ago, about the 1300s. So that's pretty pretty recent. And um, then it goes up from Utah straight into Yellowstone. So is that just a coincidence that the chamber goes all the way down to Yellowstone and the magma plume also feeds from Baja in Mexico? The, mantle, the magma chamber goes down to uh, Mexico, sorry. And that uh, Baja, Mexico area, that's where that mantle plume comes from feeding Yellowstone. This has all been recently uh, researched and found. Now, the minerals here that have been um, examined by Arizona State University found below the uh, supervolcano's uh, influx fresh magma, they revealed that the critical changes in temperature and the composition build up in a matter of decades and not centuries. So they build up in decades and not centuries, a much faster short timeline, obviously. Graduate student Hannah Shamlu said, it's shocking how little time is required to take a volcanic system from being quiet, sitting there at the edge of an eruption. Christy Till, a geologist at Arizona State, and uh, Ms. Shamlu's dissertation advisor said, 
we expected that there might be processes happening over thousands of years preceding a eruption and eruption. They're talking about a super eruption. So they said it could be hundreds or thousands of years, but here it means it, they're finding that it could be decades. Carrie Cooper, a geochemist at University of California, said Ms. Shamlu and Dr. Till's research offered more insight into the time frames of the super eruptions. Again, we're talking about Yellowstone, but who knows? Maybe it, it also pertains to other super volcanoes. We don't know, but in this instance, we're just talking about the research being done on the minerals in Yellowstone. And they said much more research needs to be done, of course. She said it's one of the things to think that it's about slowly, gradually building up. It's another thing to think about how you mobilize 1,000 cubic kilometers of magma in 10 years. In a 2013 study showing magma reservoir that feeds the caldera was about two and a half times larger than previously estimated. Scientists thought this was drained uh, out, but by every blast and took a long time to refill. That's what they believed. But a new study suggests the situation can change much faster. But USGS has previously put minds at ease regarding that overdue, over, any overdue claims. They say when Yellowstone Volcano Observatory scientist in charge, Jacob Lowenstern, said in 2014, when you see people claiming it's overdue, Usually the numbers they come up with say the last eruption was 640,000 years ago, but it erupts every 600 years. But in fact, if you average the eruption intervals, there's 2.1 million to 1.3 million, and then another 640,000 years. And if you average those numbers out, you come up with something like over 700,000 years. So in reality, even if you tried to make this argument, it would not be overdue for another 70,000 years, he said. And Lauren Stern, uh, even went on to question its calculation validity. He said there's one thing that is important to realize that uh, when they do statistics based on two eruption intervals, they're just playing games because we don't know. There's no clock down there. The magma is going to erupt when it wants to erupt. There's been a lot of things that have been happening over the last 600,000 years that might indicate there's this likelihood of an eruption, he said. And this is on Express UK the study concerning Yellowstone latest by Callum Hoare. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.